Great, guys. Thanks so much, Curtis, and great insight. It's really interesting, actually, you know, the two things that come out of the document that Curtis has just gone through is what we really need to take forward um, along this journey, and that is the ease of duplication and the fact that we're in this for the long haul, you know, that you need those 12 months to get to that level of CV and the money that's going to come in at that point is just going to be mind blowing plus everything else. So very, very exciting. And a big thank you to Curtis for putting quite a lot of work into adapting this um, document for Team Accelerate, which we're all very proud to all be a part of. I think as our teams have all grown, it makes sense for us to collaborate more and more. Um, and this is, if I just share my screen here, Okay, get rid of that. Okay, you can see that now. So we now have our lovely branding on the Team Accelerate document. Now this is basically the holy grail, the Bible that we use to welcome our TSAs. And I know there's a few new ones on the call today. So this is perfect, perfect timing. Um, it starts off with uh, a little letter just to welcome, welcome everybody. You know, it is generic, so, you know, we want it to be very easy and duplicatable. Um, and I'm just, again, going to home in on the fact that, again, look at this. We need our new TSAs to know that this is an 18-month commitment here. And, you know, we've been in it, actually, Curtis, Rob, myself and Jules, a few of us on the call, um, we've just over, we've just hit our first year. So, you know, we're not even at that 18 months yet. And yet we have got incredible traction. A lot of us have got lots and lots of customers and it's so important just to keep that going. But the three attributes I always like jumping out as well, you know, the desire to be really wealthy. We've all got a hunger for it. We're not going to deny it. We all want to absolutely make it um, to take advantage of an opportunity when it comes knocking at your door. And I think this is what, you know, we need to convey to new prospects to get them on these calls. You know, this is an opportunity, as Curtis said, as this app comes to life and more and more people take it on. Um, you know, this opportunity is not going to be here forever. We are pioneers and we're in it from the beginning. And commitment and consistency absolutely is what we need to commit to here. And I think those of us that have been on here this long journey so far for the year, you know, we've all shown that level of tenacity and it has very much paid off. So the five steps of success, success loves speed. And it's in our interest as your sponsors to get you started fast, because the faster you get started, the sooner you get paid, you get your investment squared off and then the rest is coming in and earning you lots of money. So identifying your why, and a lot of us do jump over this, and I'm, you know, I can be guilty of that as well, but it's all about accountability. And if you actually get your new TSAs to sit down and actually spend a few minutes filling this in, you know, why are they doing this? What is important to them? Yes, we all want to earn more money, but what goals do we have? I actually decided my vision board is going to change in the new year. I met three friends that have all had this laser surgery. And at my age, literally, I've got the long sight, the short sight, and it's all going on at the same time. And I've decided that I am going to actually next year get my eyes laser. I think quality of life is very important. So that's going to go on my new um, identification of my why. But do get your TSAs to fill this in. And you know, when they do have wobbles, as they often do, come back to this document. Just say, you know, remember why you're doing this. You're doing it for your family. You're doing it to spend more time with your kids, to leave your, your family a legacy. So it's a really important thing to get them to fill in and send back to you, screenshot it, send back to you and start a little folder and pop it in there. So getting started, the first thing we always do is get people to write their lists. So we've got customers that we want to um, get on a list and potential TSAs. Now I kind of roll them into one because if somebody doesn't want to become a TSA and you know it's not for everybody, we know that, you can at least get them converted into a customer. So start writing your list and we all need to be writing lists. Probably at the beginning of every month, it's worth just having a little review of your social media, your Facebook, um, and also for follow-ups as well you know because we always say the follow the fortune is in the follow-up so you know don't just write these lists and disregard them come back to them because people who may not be up for it now may well be up for it if their circumstances change down the line so we always use the uh, the jet setter the airline analogy um you know we want you guys to be taking off fast the good parties, um, the get out of debt parties, which is a very sort of American um, uh, definition. And we've been running these on Zoom. And I have to say, you know, hats off, we've got Guy on this call, Guy and Rosie joined up last week. 
within three or four days of just getting underway and writing their list. I did calls for them um, in Rob's absence on Wednesday, Thursday. They did another one on Friday that Tyler picked up because I was away this weekend and they've got more planned for this week. And it is just, it just makes such a difference to the energy just to get people, you know, engaged and excited about what you're doing. And that's really how we invite. And we'll come on to that a little bit more in a minute. Um, and just being committed and being plugged in, you know, at the end of the day, there is a huge amount of training open to us all. We know we can't get onto it all, but that's the great thing about the team that we have here. And, you know, all credit to all you guys that are on now, you know, if somebody misses something, there's always somebody else that will fill you in. And that's what the team camaraderie is all about. So do try and get plugged into as much of this as you can. We know that we have the flight schools on Saturdays. Um, we've got our training um, on Mondays now and then the calls are promoted throughout the week um, and you know we'll always keep you posted with what is going on. So support the system, you're not alone um, and this document literally is a bible to go over everything that you need to learn and to duplicate to your new TSAs. Now being added to the Facebook groups, if I just quickly scoot out of this, we have got our um, fantastic team accelerate now that we've merged our team TSA people from my team and Beverly's team. This is the now go to place. Now, one thing that we actually need to add to this is although we have all our team information here, when new TSAs come on board, I try not to, we, the person who's brought them on, do welcome them to the, the messenger chat and the WhatsApp chats, whichever one you, you tend to use most, but do the big welcome in Johnny's team royalty group over here, because actually this is where we can all write messages galore. I think if the messenger and WhatsApp groups ping too much, then people do get a bit fed up from them. So the referring sponsoring TSA, put them on the WhatsApp group, welcome them there and say, please join us on the Team Royalty Facebook page. And then that's where we can really, really big them up and um, put lots of lovely comments because that is so nice to get a nice big welcome when you join up. Um, the messenger group I just touched on, that's also called Team Accelerate um, and plug them into the, the corporate iBoomerang page as well, because this is where a lot of Cancun was streamed live. And we do know that there's a lot of um, information calls. Um, and of course, the uh, Saturday flight school is all streamed live on the iBoomerang corporate page. So flight school every Saturday, I've just touched on that. Team training Monday, um, the USA and Sunday, and actually David Hunt, who we do collaborate with, also does team training on a Sunday night, and we'll always let you know what's going on, and then you can fit into what suits you best on your timelines. Now, for new team TSAs, the ambassador orientation is key. Now, all of this is in the iBoom hub, but to have it all in one document is fantastic. So we always say that as soon as people come on board, they need to watch these six little videos. Now, we have got, Curtis has got one click links from here. I'm not going to click through them all because I want to keep this quite concise, but they're not long. They're about 10 minutes each and it goes through the very basics. So I always tend to do what I call an orientation sort of back office tour with new TSE, TSAs and I will touch on all of these, but you are responsible for keeping plugged in and learning how to do this. And of course, if there's anything that you're stuck on, your sponsor will always help. Now, setting up your iGo and I decides is also key because this is how you're going to pull in new um, TSA interests to plug them into the calls with the I decides. And of course, sending out the iGo co codes is paramount in building your customer database. And I have to say, just personally, and I'm very happy to do this on another call going forward. I know people in my team have seen it many times, but I get most of my customers through my social media, through LinkedIn, Facebook, sending out happy birthdays, you know, welcome to new jobs. And if they even say thank you to that, I always go, my pleasure. Don't forget to check the link out. You know, it's always reiterating it and putting in that one click link to get them to join our iGo platform. Or, of course, now we've got the Vibe Rides and the Build Genius in the States as well. So there's lots of opportunities to build up your customer, um, your own personal customer database. Um, and setting up subscriptions, you know, when you get started, do make sure your subscriptions are set up. And again, there's a little video to tell you um, how to do this if you click through here. Um, and to set up your e-wallet is very important. You know, we do get paid uh, weekly on our dual team bonuses, 
monthly on the uni level and it's important to know that that is set up properly so again i'm not going to go to that level of detail it's all on here and your sponsor can um, go through it in a little bit more detail should you get stuck but it's all here literally you press your button um, and you get paid into your back office but you do need to transfer it to your i wallet which is then transferable to your bank account. And you can even order yourself a nice little iBoomerang credit card here as well. So I haven't actually done that yet, but it's something that is on my list. Now, sending out the boomerangs, again, I'm not gonna know, go through the actual detail. Most of us on here um, are TSAs and we've all been doing it. But suffice to say, in the early days, we all had to send um, individual ones. I know you still have to for Vibride, but now we have the opportunity to do group codes, which is much quicker, much easier. We can send them out for Bill Genius, for iGo. Um, I do know that for Vibe riders, it is coming. Um, I had a little dialogue with customer services last week when we all got a bit excited and I for one downloaded the Vibe Ride app a little bit too uh, speedily um, without sort of understanding how it links um, to your sponsor and how you send them out. So it's linked to your um, back office when people actually take those up. And I do know that group codes are coming for Vibe Ride very soon as well, which is great, great news. But there is a way that you can send these out in a one clickable link. And again, do ask your sponsor. Um, and there are videos on that that we are going to get put up on this document going forward. So it will be a work in progress. Now, unlocking the binary commissions is very important. And we all know the benefit of bringing in your first two business builders. So this just explains how that all works and how you want to start looking to get your first builder on your left and the next on the right. And then going forward, you want to try and keep your legs as balanced as possible because you get paid every week on the efforts, the commissionable volume of your weaker leg. And what Curtis has just been through is really interesting because if we start building on that as well, that commissionable volume, it all adds to this. So again, you need to know the benefit um, of which leg you're putting your new TSAs on um, and where the links are in your back office. Make sure that you send the right link to get them on the right leg because they do not change it. Um, you know, if you write to customer services in the early days, they did do a little bit of moving around for you, but they've made it very clear that they won't any longer. So that's really um, important just to uh, get yourself binary qualified. And it tells you where the referral links are there in your back office. So what have we got here? We've got all the important links. So you can actually, again, with one click, get through to the hub. Uh, regularly asked uh, from, uh, questions and answers, um, the iGo to get onto your iGo platform, the I decides. it's quite interesting, we always used to send out I decides. I still actually do send out quite a lot, I know a lot of people now prefer to send out um, small introductory videos, David Hunt does a terrific 17 minute video, um, and again we can get that to you if you would like to do that, I know that they are going to be looking to upgrade the I decide so it leads a lot more um, with the technology and they have done that to an extent but it was quite travel focused so that's why we kind of came off using those and just really used the benefit of building up a rapport building up a conversation with your prospects and plugging them into the calls and Curtis and I were chatting before this call and I know that with the um, you know the the goal of perhaps starting another 90 day um, flight plan, um, we're going to be running a lot more calls going forward. So you've got plenty of opportunities to plug prospects into. The compensation plan, it's really important to watch that when you first join up. The compensation plan is quite complicated if you haven't been involved in a network marketing company before. And that's a really good video just to see you through. And for those that really want to know more about how Vibe Ride operates, that's a good little video, again, that you can send out to potential um, Vibe uh, drivers actually I found that's very good for that and to contact support again they have different uh, uh, contact emails whether it be a billing question an iGo question uh, a Vibride question and they're getting much better at getting back to you much faster so the fast start training Holt and Bugs has got some incredible training videos that's him going through the fast start process so do have a watch of that um, and Hed Edwin Haynes runs um, a very good video uh, where he talks through his flight plan calendar and you can actually print off um, calendar days and sort of action sheets and again that does help keep 
keep people focused if they do need a little bit uh, of help in that department. And as I've mentioned, there are no end of videos. We do have our own iBoomerang YouTube channel. Most of these videos can be found there. But I often just put these on in the background like the radio and I'll watch the same one several times and it'll be on whilst I'm doing other things. And I just know that I've watched it on repeat. It all goes in. So also keep connected with our social media channels, um, the iBoomerang corporates. Um, have got their own Facebook um, page, which we mentioned, um, Instagram and the YouTube channel, as have Vibride. So, you know, there is a lot going on. You can't do it all. But if you're plugged in, hopefully, you know, between us all um, and being on these uh, uh, social media channels, you won't miss too much. So want to, you know, make your business 10 times um, what it is today. At the end of the day, the diamond secrets um, are I think really what Curtis has just been through and we'll get all this of that plugged into this document so everything is in one place. Um, again, more videos. The, this is a very famous Holt and Bugs um, training um, on Cash Cow and you used to have to pay for this extra training. We now have it as a link here. So again, you know, there are no end of very well-known personal development coaches here that we have worked closely with in iBoomerang um, who are all very happy to share their skills with us. So again, these are really good trainings to, to have on um, when you're working away. You know, they always say that network marketing is um, a, a personal development plan with a compensation plan attached. And I think we've all benefited massively. And, you know, to think that I'm even doing this, I used to hate doing these videos. So, you know, it's just keeping plugged in, learning and developing and the rest just falls into place. Now we've got a few little sample messages here. I know everybody likes to put their own tone of voice and their own um, spin on these messages, but I know Curtis has helped me a lot with messaging. Um, you know, I'm terrible for my waffly messages and I sort of send them out and then people come back to me and, and you know, I, I have the essence there and we get to a place that we like, but it's all teamwork. So, you know, if you find something that works for you, we'd love to hear about it, share it in the group chat. But these are just very, very basic messages that really is all you need to engage. You do not want to be telling people too much about this business. You want to say that you've got something super exciting. You think it could be for them. It's an incredible opportunity. Would you spare a few minutes and plug into a presentation or listen to a call? And that's all you really need to know. And then if they do ask for more information, here we have the David Hunt video. Thank you, Curtis. I hadn't realized that was actually in here. Um, and again, if you click that, you'll have the YouTube link and you can save it to your notes for easy access. And that's another little tip, actually. Things within this document that I do use regularly on a day-to-day -day basis. If you like that message, you know, copy and paste it, pop it in your notes, and then you've got it there for, for easy access. So, you know, engage, plug them into a call, share a video, get them listening to one of the presentations and then the fortune is in the follow-up. At that point, we try and get them onto three-way calls and your sponsor or upline further up the, the line will be very happy to help with that Q&A, which everybody has. You know, people always have questions. It's a lot to take in in one presentation. But, you know, the three-way calls, we have a very good um, rate of converting people into TSAs after we've got to the three-way call. Um, and step five is, you know, book a meeting from a meeting at the end of the day. Once we've got them over the line, as we did with Guy and Rose, let's get the next meetings in the diary where we can set up launch calls and repeat the process all over again. So, you know, stay in contact with your sponsor. I will say from my perspective, you know, in the early days, and I've learned a lot, you know, some people, it is like pushing water uphill. And the amount of hours I've spent really trying to get people engaged where actually, the reality was, you know, they have to do it for themselves. So don't get too stressed out dragging people along. You know, if you keep them engaged, keep them, you know, close to this five step process. Hopefully, like you guys on the call who have been with us many for, for quite some time, you know, we all enjoy learning and growing together. And do remember, you know, don't get despondent when you're trying to get people onto calls and it's not for them right now. It does. Um, you know, we know for a fact it takes up to four to six exposures 
to get people to sometimes make a decision. And sometimes it's longer than that. You know, I've got people that said no a long time ago and then something I pop on social media resonates and they're like, you know, tell me about that business again. You know, what is this vibe ride? What's this new thing you're doing? What's this all about? I thought it was travel. So you do need to keep a bit of social media going, let people know what you're doing. Just give them little nuggets to take away and generate curiosity. And I do believe that is the last page. So at that juncture, I shall stop sharing um, and perhaps open it um, up to some questions. Would anybody like to unmute um, and ask any questions? <laughs>